Today, we will be taking a look at the Cerevo LiveShell X and walking through the steps to set it up for live streaming. Cerevo's LiveShell X is designed for professional quality broadcasting with lots of features packed into a palm-sized device. It is capable of streaming full HD quality video at 1080p up to 60 frames per second. Streams can be encoded in H.264 or the latest H.265 video codec with AAC with a bitrate up to 20 megabits per second. It also has a high capacity rechargeable 6 hour battery. The multi streaming function enables up to 3 simultaneous streams and a real time recording function allows you to save a copy of your broadcast. Wi-Fi connectivity is provided with a dongle with support for optional 3G or 4G USB modems. The LiveShell X comes with Ethernet, USB for the included Wi-Fi dongle, a 3.5mm stereo line-in that also serves as a setup port, HDMI in, as well as a micro SD card slot at the side. A number of M4 mounts at the side and a quarter inch screw mount at the bottom provides a range of mounting options. To stream with the LiveShell X, you will need an internet connection or Wi-Fi with SSID and password, a computer, smartphone or tablet with the latest version of your web browsers, a video camera or device capable of outputting video via HDMI, and most importantly, a Cerevo LiveShell dashboard account. Dashboard is a web-based control panel for your live stream. Account registration is free and you may do so with email, Facebook or Google accounts. To begin, connect your Ethernet cable to your LiveShell X. Then, turn on the device by pressing and holding onto the power button. Choose your desired language at the language setup screen by using the lower left and right buttons, then confirming your selection with the button on the upper right corner. Wait for a moment and a 4-digit PIN number will be displayed. The device is now ready to connect to your dashboard account. Once logged in, select LiveShell X from the options provided. Next, select the channel for your LiveShell X. Channel 0 allows up to 60 FPS at the same resolution as your input, up to 1080p. You can change the output resolution with channels 1 or 2. However, your frame rate will be locked at 30 FPS on these channels. You will be able to change and configure your channels afterwards. Select your desired broadcasting service from the options provided. You will be able to change this freely afterwards. Proceed to log in to your broadcasting service account. Streaming to Facebook for example requires a server URL and stream key which you can assess by clicking on live video on your timeline and then connect. Copy and paste the stream key and server URL to dashboard before you proceed. Next, select Ethernet from the network connection type settings and enter the PIN code provided by your LiveShell X in the next window. When the screen changes to Dashboard's main panel, your setup is now complete. Connect a HDMI source into your LiveShell X and you're ready to begin your stream. To begin, connect the included Wi-Fi dongle to your LiveShell X. Then, turn on the device by pressing and holding onto the power button. Choose your desired language at the language setup screen by using the lower left and right buttons. Then, confirming a selection with the button on the upper right corner. Wait for a moment and the device will be ready to connect to your dashboard account when you see the registration display. Once logged in, select LiveShell X from the options provided. Next, select a channel for your LiveShell X. Channel 0 allows up to 60 FPS at the same resolution as your input, up to 1080p. You can change the output resolution with channels 1 or 2. However, your frame rate will be locked at 30 FPS on these channels. You will be able to change and configure your channels afterwards. Select your desired broadcasting service from the options provided. You will be able to change this freely afterwards. Proceed to log in to your broadcasting service account. Streaming to Facebook for example requires a server URL and stream key which you can assess by clicking on live video on your timeline and then connect. Copy and paste the stream key and server URL to dashboard before you proceed. Next, 
select Wi-Fi from the network connection type settings and enter your wireless network's name and password. Transfer the network settings by connecting the 3.5mm port on the LiveShell X to the headphone jack on your device using the provided setup cable and click on the play button. When the screen changes to dashboard's main panel, your setup is now complete. Connect your HDMI source into your LiveShell X and you're ready to begin your stream. To set up the simultaneous streaming, head over to Dashboard's main panel. Click on the gear icon in one of the three tabs at the top of the preview window. Under Channel, select Channel 0 if you would like your stream to be at 60 frames per second, or Channel 1 or 2 at 30 frames per second. Select the broadcasting service that you would like to use and enter the appropriate streaming information required. Close the window and repeat these steps for the remaining tabs. To begin streaming to all services at once, click on the Start All button to the right of the three tabs. You can check the status of your streams with the three stream button indicator above your Live Shell Access display. You can also start, pause, and stop your streams with these buttons. Happy streaming and thanks for watching!